channel and today guys I'm gonna be starting a back to school series and some of you guys have actually requested this in the comments and I thank you guys so much because I was kind of running out of ideas to do but I'm so happy that I'm starting this because this is something that I wish I had when I was starting um, high school as a freshman so this is my back to school series before we get into this video I need you guys to like comment subscribe comment down some more ideas for your girl and also give some tips from the new freshman that's coming in, okay? So, yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first tip is friends come and go. Um, this is something that I wish I would have known, like, going into freshman year. Um, a lot of the friends that you had in middle school are not... People grow apart in high school, I'll say that. In middle school, um, a lot of you guys, like, stuck together. Like, you guys had the same... Um, class um, throughout the whole year and you guys would like rotate to class like you guys had the same class it is not like that in high school you guys have different classes new people in each class so um, people are gonna grow apart um, there's also clubs um, teams football all those different types of things and people just grow apart you don't have similar interests you guys don't have the same classes anymore so you guys are gonna grow apart so what I would suggest, and that moves into tip number two, um, join sports and clubs. Um, joining sports and clubs was like really like a good thing for me because I was so antisocial in middle school. I didn't talk as much. I was very shy. Um, I didn't have many friends. So um, rule number, no, not rule number one, but tip number one was a little bit hard for me because I had that really small group of friends and like we actually spread it apart. And it was really hard for me because I was kind of like by myself and joining clubs and joining teams, stuff like that, that you love. Um, you'll find people with similar interests and it'll make your high school year a little bit better. Um, <laughs> for me, um, I joined dance team. I joined dance team and it was one of the best decisions I ever made. I was around people who had similar interests towards me, who went through some of the same struggles as I went to, who weren't as technical. and. I actually they were like big big sisters to me you know what I mean um, it just worked out and some of us are still friends some of us are not but like it makes your high school experience a little bit more better moving into tip number three do not date upperclassmen girl I understand how can I stress this do not date upperclassmen that's something that I did totally regret it is not for the week <laughs> Um, girl, no, 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 <laughs> upperclassmen, um, yeah, they show you the ropes to some stuff, but dating them is not, no, girl, because they, you gotta think about this, they leave the next year, and you're gonna be there for three years, you think they're gonna sit around and wait for you? No, and the same thing, like, and at the same time, they only looking for one thing, and me and you, girl, we both know what that is. Just don't do it. It's 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 not good. No, don't do it. I'm trying to save you. If you don't listen to nobody, nobody else, listen to me, girl. No, it's not for the week. Don't do it. Tip four. Tip four is something that I should have done, but I didn't, and now I'm in the hellhole. But um, go ahead and start thinking about what you want to do after school. You know what I mean? Because then, by the time you're a senior, you're already figuring out like. Okay, this is for, for sure like what I want to do. It, it helps, honestly, because if you're like me and you wait until junior year and senior year and you don't, you're like, what the f am I going to do? You know what I mean? Like, all of my friends have what they, they know what they want to do like after school. They want to go to college, but I'm like, no, I don't want to do that because you're still thinking about it. So go ahead and, go ahead and think about it as a freshman. Go ahead and write down, go ahead and, um, I say um, start applying for college is sophomore year, so then you have a year to think about what school you want to go to and like, you know, just, just think about it because you want to go to the best school. As humans and as teenagers, we change our mind a lot. We think about stuff and then we're like, mm, no, maybe I don't want to do that. Um, you're going to change your mind a million trillion times. 
So you might as well start thinking about it for um, at least three years so that you have that time gap for like, when so when you get to be a senior, you've already thought about it for like three years and you narrowed it down to like, let's say a good 10 to five schools and like, um, or 10 to five ideas to what you want to do. And you have like, let's say like a few months, you have probably made your decision. So yeah, go ahead and start thinking about that. As a, um, Tip five, focus on your grades. Focus on your grades. I don't know how many times I gotta stress this. Your grades are important if you wanna go to college. If it's, even if you're not planning on going to college, you still wanna have good grades because the highest, honestly, you can get is like probably construction or um, McDonald's or like a fast food restaurant. And you don't wanna be doing that for the rest of your life. So I'd say worry about, get your grades up. You know what I'm saying, get your grades. Six is take lots of pictures, lots of videos, lots of memories. Um, be in the yearbook. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't be the, don't be the lame one in the group to like not want to participate and like all the stuff that your school has going on. Like, you're gonna you're gonna want to remember this stuff. Take pictures and videos because high school goes by really fast, and you become an adult really fast. So, take lots of pictures, lots of videos because it goes by really fast. Okay. Like I'm not even kidding. It goes by really fast. <laughs> Tip. Seven, be yourself. Do not be like everyone else. Honestly, like, so if you're like me and you watched a lot of movies and back to school, like this video right here, all that crap really, like, people exaggerate it a lot. Like high school is literally just high school. Everyone is honestly more chill. Um, everyone's worried about their stuff because at the end of the day, you're graduating. This is about you, not nobody else, not your friends, not Susie, not Jim. This is about, honestly, it's all about you. So everyone's honestly more to themselves and nobody really cares about you. I cannot say it like that, but like, I, are, you, are you getting the gist of what I'm trying to say? Like nobody really, nobody's really on that bullying shit anymore. Like, oh, you don't got the new J's? Okay, and? The, like nobody's gonna be on you like that. That's what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? So be you be yourself if you're not um, If you're not worried about basketball if you're not worried about something that's popular at school Then oh well nobody's gonna be on you like oh <laughs> This guy ain't worried about nobody's gonna be on you like that um, Just be yourself and um, People will gravitate towards you um, That are more like you you know what I'm saying? Like, don't be afraid to talk to people. Don't be afraid to be yourself because at the end of the day, it's about you. This is, you're, you're getting down to the last four years of your um, educational experience with um, the people that you've grown up with. So, just be you. Nobody cares. <laughs> don't try to be like everyone else because um, this topic or this group is more popular. Who f cares? Oh, well. <laughs> tip eight <laughs> tip eight is mental health but I'm gonna like explain it a little bit more um, your mental health matters like if you're not okay up here you're not gonna be okay um, in your schoolwork in your tests in like just talking to people you're not gonna be okay and if you're not okay you're not gonna perform well and you're not gonna finish school so if you need help um, like up here do not be afraid to ask everyone around mental health and like this generation is so big and like thriving right now that people are uh, getting new resources to help you you don't feel comfortable talking to your parents find a trustable adult to talk to like for real like this is like some real shit. I'm here for each and every one of you guys so if you guys want to talk to me um, I will definitely make a new email do not use the Mario J business email because that one is for business only but um, I will definitely make a new email for you guys if you guys want to hit me up you need someone to talk to I'm always here because I know how it feels like to have nobody there for you. so 
but um, please make sure your mental health is good. Make sure you guys are getting enough sleep. Make sure you guys are eating right. Um, all those good things and taking care of yourself. Just make sure you're good. If you're not good, then nothing else matters to you. So, yeah. Tip nine. Almost that tip. <laughs> tip nine is to build a good relationship with your teachers. Girl, let me tell you, bro, let me tell you, if you do that, you, okay, so you're going to need recommendations, like, anywhere. Like, if you're trying, if you're trying to get into a good college, if you're trying to get in a good, um, dance school, if you're trying, anything, these teachers can help you out. If you, if you get a good relationship with Chip, if you get a good relationship with them, that's going to help you out top tier honestly like that's gonna help you out girl so that's something i do recommend make sure don't do not be the class clown that is lame honestly do not be disrespecting your teachers do not be doing any of that that's lame bro like these are the people that are educating us and you're doing this for what i understand i honestly i don't i never understood why there were people who just disrespected the teachers like girl why why if the teacher never did anything to you um i don't understand why there was the reason to disrespect i understand if they did something to you then it's personal you know what i mean but like why why that just never made sense to me but get your little favorite teacher or whatever make sure you have a good relationship with teachers that's gonna help you out number 10 is Yes, have fun, bro. Live your life to the fullest. Yes, have fun. Like, at the end of the day, yes, we're here to learn, but yes, but girl, have fun. Like, this is your life. This is your high school years, okay? Go to homecoming. If some if if someone asks you to prom, like a junior or a senior, go to prom. Like, have fun, girl. Go to all the games go to all the football games make sure you have your schoolwork done though but go to all the games have the freak fun okay <laughs> have fun like seriously have fun that's gonna wrap up honestly everything that i have on the list for 10 tips for high school freshmen i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video make sure you guys give this video a big like go ahead and comment below and also subscribe to my channel do not forget to hit the bell notification so you're notified every time that i post make sure you guys click all instead of personalized personalized gives you some of my notifications but if you click all you will get all the notifications to my channel so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys come back for more and i will see you guys in the next video bye <laughs> I look like I'm fresh off the runway. Uh, bitch, I go crazy the dumb way.